No matter how much a leader is loved, esteemed, or extraordinary, if he comes to power through a coup, he will always have to deal with the issue of other soldiers attempting to overturn his administration. It happened to Thomas Sankara, one of the most revolutionary and respected African leaders, which resulted in his death, and it happened just a few days ago to a young African leader, Ibrahim Traore, who is most respected, especially by young Africans, and has proven himself as a leader who opposed imperialism and neocolonialism. In a statement released on Friday, September 8, 2023, by Burkina Faso's military prosecutor, Major Alphonse Soma, three soldiers in Burkina Faso have been arrested and charged with plotting against the ruling junta. Alphonse went further to say that last month, investigators obtained information regarding soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence searching out the houses and other places of key players in the junta, including strongman Captain Ibrahim Traore. Their goal, he said, was to destabilize the transition. The investigations resulted in the arrest of the three soldiers, who were ordered detained by an examining magistrate and charged with participation in a military plot, breach of military orders, plotting against state security, criminal association, and endangerment. The three soldiers have been identified as Warrant Officer Windin Malek Kobo, Sergeant Bryce Ismail Ramda, and former Corporal Sammy Daw, who were previously convicted in a state-sponsored scheme in 2015. According to Alphonse, they have unequivocally admitted the facts of an attempted coup. However, this is not the first time that Captain Ibrahim Traore's military government has survived an attempted coup. Shortly after Traore's takeover, military prosecutors said that there had been an attempt to destabilize state institutions in December 2022. Traore himself spoke out, confirming the news that some elements of the army wanted to seize power. This led demonstrators, who presented themselves as Traoré supporters, to gather in the capital to protest against the alleged attempted coup. Speaking to the group in the capital city, Ouagadougou, Traoré said that he knows the culprits but prefers dialogue instead of arresting them. The president then appealed for everyone's help since some forces were attempting to disrupt the government's efforts and destroy morale. In addition, the president reportedly said that money was being distributed to influence certain elements to destabilize the government and asked those in the meeting not to fall for it. Shortly after this, the military prosecutor released a statement saying that a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zungrona and some civilians were behind the coup. Zungrona is believed to have been the mastermind behind the first coup that deposed former president Rock Mark Christian Cabore. At that time, Zungrana had just been released from an 11-month detention after being arrested for new suspicions against him. According to the prosecutor, the preliminary findings of the inquiry into Zungrana show that soldiers and citizens were planning an operation to elevate the lieutenant colonel to the position of state leader. The group would have communicated with the officers' unit, the Green Mambas, which was waiting for reinforcements from other departments. The military prosecutor further stated that their plan also included simultaneous attacks on public television, the military jail, and the home of Burkina Faso's current leader and commander of the September coup, Ibrahim Traoré. It is rather unfortunate that some people are trying to oust Traoré from his position as interim president of Burkina Faso, but fortunately the coup was thwarted. Since he came to power, Traoré has proven himself to be an outstanding leader. He has pledged to fight against the insurgency crisis in Burkina Faso and has been working hard to ensure that Burkina Faso is safe again. His brief reign has seen the entire departure of France from the country, and he is putting measures in place to process more of the country's gold locally in order to maintain control of the country's main source of revenue following a dip in output. Hopefully, President Traoré will succeed in his quest to see the country move peacefully into a civilian government in 2024 without any hitches. What are your thoughts? Do leave your comment down below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.